So we'll talk a little bit about our current state of BI and analytics. Um, for lots of reasons, uh, we're in these four states. One is we have lots of silos. Um, our, our organizations are set up as business functions. We have different business units. Our uh, source systems, our ERP systems, et cetera, are all set up to handle functions because it's more efficient. But then we somehow have to get that data together and get people to agree to key performance indicators and key ways to look at the business. So we're set up as silos and we implement data integration and BI and analytics in the silos architecture. Second, we have lots of queues for people trying to do analytics. Now this queue isn't just for IT. One, it's for the IT group. I contend that there's, it's a bimodal distribution. The IT group that isn't successful has a queue, but the one who's wildly successful has a bigger queue because people want more and more information from them. The second thing is this is also the power user or the data analyst in each business function. That person is generating lots and lots of analytics through spreadsheets or, or data prep tools in order to solve and help their fellow peers in their organizations. Three is we have lots and lots of tools, lots and lots of hype. Uh, each new generation of BI tool, I have a clip, not, in, not here, but I have, a, I have a clip of advertisements from vendors where I take off their names, where they talk about delivering analytics in hours, in minutes, in seconds, instantly. Not only data, but information. Not only information, now they're using insights. Now I'm also seeing data integration tools, specifically streaming tools, talk about instantly providing insights to your business. Uh, I'll contend to you that it's a lot more than just the tool in order for that to happen. And finally, we've been spending lots and lots and lots and lots of money and lots of product projects throughout the years, and we're still in the silos ever increasing. <clears throat> 